Hi everyone. Welcome back to the third episode of Baking Experiments with the Vegan Birdie. Today we are making Mangalore buns. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what it is, it is actually a deep fried kind of a puri. Okay, it's a puri which is made with maida and wheat, sugar, salt and uh, mashed banana is sort of mixed into the dough and it is uh, after that it is deep fried. Okay, so it puffs up like a puri. and it is extremely tasty my husband is uh, partially mangalorean because his mom was from mangalore side we have been on these trips down western ghats and every time we have had a lot of enjoyment with the food i have a lot of memories of eating mangaluru buns in uh, small small shops on my you know trips and i loved them thoroughly Okay so traditionally this puri is had with coconut chutney so it's sort of like a mixture between sweet and savory so i wanted to make this healthier in this episode i'm going to bake these buns instead of frying we are going to start this recipe by activating some yeast for this dough so i have taken a tablespoon of jaggery powder here i'm taking about 2 teaspoon of water So this is warm water half a teaspoon of active dry yeast mix this up and we will set this aside for few minutes about 5 to 10 minutes until the yeast activates This is about 200 grams of bananas. Okay, after peeling, it is about 200 grams of bananas. So approximately three medium bananas which have been chopped, and I'm going to mash it up. So once the bananas are mashed, they'll become like a paste, smooth paste. So I am going to take about one and a half cup of flour here. and i have cup kept some extra flour which i will use you know just to get the dough together half a teaspoon of salt here about 1/4 teaspoon of jeera and that is all of the dry ingredients so as as i said we are trying to make this recipe healthier by using whole wheat flour instead of maida okay and also by baking instead of deep frying and sometimes in these recipes they use curd so instead of curd as an instant replacer i am adding some coconut cream so 1 tablespoon of coconut cream few drops of vinegar in it maybe 2 3 drops okay i'm hoping this will do the work instead of curd for the recipe i'm somebody who hates frying okay that's another reason why i am doing this in a baked way i rarely deep fry stuff it's good in a way because i end up eating less deep fried stuff because of that so that is why i have never ever made this recipe before i have never even made a deep fried one before so i'm directly trying a baked one let's hope it turns out good the yeast looks alive to me it is uh, getting a little frothy so i'm adding this now into this i'm also adding 2 teaspoon of coconut oil adding the coconut instant coconut curd that we have made and to this now we are adding the mashed banana so ideally for this kind of a recipe they say uh, you should use overripe bananas uh, but my bananas were not overripe they were just ripe so I'm hoping that is not a problem. We'll get to know soon. 
we are going to mix this into a dough now and uh, as i told you before i have kept some flour separately to make sure we get the right consistency so it is quite wet still so i'm going to add some of this flour so the dough has come together into a nice soft ball okay i used about 1 cup plus 3/4 cups of whole wheat flour um now we are going to leave the dough to ferment for an hour i have just coated it with few drops of oil as it ferments so that it doesn't dry up while fermenting so let's see the dough now it's been actually more than 1 hour um what is the time now it's i think past 7 It's been three hours. I couldn't get back to it in between. I was busy. So this is our dough. It has risen. We will just punch out the air from this dough. And now we are going to make uh, six buns out of this. Let's just get the dough out. I'll divide it into six parts. Okay. and we are going to make the buns we are just going to roll it into buns now i'm quite excited i don't know when was the last time i ate a mangluru bun a lot of times you can't eat it because it's not vegan so excited to see how this turns out i'm just going to roll it now Take some dry flour. Let's roll it. Uh, you're not rolling it too thin, also. You're going to roll it a little thick only. In the same way, I'm going to do the. rest five of them as well i'm quite hungry so you may see me working at an extra fast speed now okay so here we are my six banana mangloor buns are ready uh, they are going to rest for some time now I'm going to keep them like this for thirty minutes. Just allow them to puff up a little bit more, and then this will go into the oven. These rolled out buns have been sitting like this since half an hour now. Um, I feel they have puffed up a little bit, and uh, I think that was important at this stage because whatever air bubbles have built up inside them at this point, that will that is going to expand and help the puri puff up when we bake it. um although i am having a little doubt here i left the batter sitting for 3 hours instead of 1 hour and i hope the yeast has not died in those 3 hours i hope whatever air has built up inside in the last half an hour is going to be enough we will know better once the buns have been baked uh, i'll be baking them for 10 minutes hi guys so the buns are ready um some of them have puffed up well like you can see this one has puffed up a little and it has puffed up uh, symmetrically everywhere but some haven't okay so maybe i haven't rolled it out properly i guess that could be one reason now i have been waiting for them to cool down so two of them have cooled down so i'm just going to rip it open with my hands Wow, it looks nice. It looks like a sort of a bread inside actually. Let me just remove this bit. Yeah. I hope you can see it looks like a bread inside. And it has cooked through. It has cooked pretty well inside. It smells like a bun. although you don't get that strong smell of oil because it's not fried let's just have a taste so i made some coconut chutney
it is quite tasty actually I feel I would have liked some more ripened bananas because the bun is not that sweet but still it is quite tasty it does remind you exactly of mangluru buns only it is quite soft to eat so even though we have used um, very less oil hardly a tablespoon of oil in making six buns it is quite soft and moist i think it's because of the banana oh my god it's quite tasty and i'm very hungry so one thing few things to improve here i think the bananas used should be much more ripe than the ones i used and also um uh i probably should not have kept the dough sitting for 3 hours one hour and then another one hour is more than enough i'm happy and so happy i could do this experiment and it's sort of uh, because i'm making these videos that i finally did this <laughs> so thanks to you all as well i have made mainly sweet recipes so far so i was really interested to try something which is you know not so sweet when we when it comes to baking we often tend to make only sweet things So this is a sort of intermediate not too sweet and hopefully next one will be a savory bake if you have any ideas do let me know if you would like me to experiment something so this is my dinner i made six buns and i think i'm so hungry i might finish all of them some simple coconut chutney some veggies see you next time for the next episode of baking experiments with the vegan body Do try this recipe a healthy way of making mangluru buns without deep frying and let me know how you like it bye bye